Well, hey friends, today I'm super duper excited to film this video. This is a tag video, and it is the 50 questions that no one asks tag. And I was tagged by the amazing Lydia from Lydia Sen. If you guys have not checked out her channel, can I just encourage you to do so? She is amazing. I love Lydia. If there is someone that I just would love to sit down and chat with, it would be her. She is like this friend that will tell you the truth, like really tell you the truth, but with such grace and with such love and with such encouragement. She talks all about finances on her channel and sometimes it's tough to listen to because I'm like, mm, need to do that. But she's just amazing in how she um, shares her wisdom and advice and encouragement. She talks a lot about motherhood and she's just amazing. So I'll have her channel link down below. So I have never done a Q&A here on my channel, so I thought this would be a lot of fun to do. Anyways, we are going to just jump in because this is a lot of questions. So question number one, when driving, do you listen to CDs, tapes, the radio, or nothing? I mean, does anybody even listen to tapes in their car anymore? I don't know. That's pretty awesome if you do. Um, I wish I could listen to CDs because I'm kind of old school in that way, but our truck did not come with a CD player. So I basically listen to the radio, our Christian radio station, and um, when I'm not listening to that, I am listening to playlists on like my iPod um, or podcasts. Question number two, are you a window seat or an aisle seat person? And I am a window seat all the way. Do not stick me in the aisle. I hate it. I hate it. But inevitably that happens. Number three, how do you relieve stress? Recently, I've kind of been relieving stress through cleaning um, and organizing projects. I find that if I can set things in my physical world back in order, it just brings relief and peace. And in those really, really stressful times when my house is spotless and everything is organized, I go out for a drive, I blare my music, I sing, I pretend I'm a rock star, and I go shopping. Usually it's window shopping, but shopping. Question number four, what is your favorite childhood TV show? We didn't watch a lot of TV when I was growing up. Um, I am a child of the 80s, and there just there wasn't a lot on TV when I was a little kid. Um, but I remember loving He-Man. That was my show. We would go to the babysitter. My mom would drop us off in the morning, and I would watch He-Man. Don't ask me anything about it now, because I have not a clue, but I loved He-Man. Question number five, when you were a kid, what did you want to be when you grew up? A farmer. I wanted to be a farmer, and I would still love to be a farmer. Question number six, what is the best prank you have ever pulled off? Okay, so this may not be like kind of like a great prank to real prankster people, but um, at the time it was a lot of fun. So there was a period of time um, when I was kind of just in like college age-ish, and my friends and I would do like lots of um, prank wars basically, um, and these were like a mix of guy and girlfriends, and we would just prank each other like crazy. And so one prank that we did at one point was was when I lived here in uh, Canada and I was just working. Um, so like prior to getting married and stuff. Um, the church I was working out of, we worked a lot with the youth group and at the time Halo had just come out, like the game, um, and th the guys would have these big Halo tournaments. Well, some of the girls that were on staff for this organization that I was working at the church out of called Master's Commission, we knew how to play Halo too. Like we would have Halo tournaments. And uh, so we knew, like, but we couldn't go to this Halo thing. So, um, I got a hair. So we knew that all the guys were at the church at one night, and so the director of our program had this truck, and he was like in love with this truck. And so we girls went to the church, and we had to kind of like sneak around the whole building, and it's huge, and it was at night, and um, we toilet papered his truck. And I think we may have even put like shaving cream on the windows and I think, um, and we like put a, like pylon, like 
road construction cones like around his vehicle and he was not happy. He was so mad, but he didn't know it was us. In fact, he thought it was some other people, and so he set out to prank them, um, and then it turned just into this big prank war because eventually he found out it was us and was not happy that his staff had did that to him. So, And number seven, if you could have dinner with any three people, who would you choose? This is tough. Um, number one for sure would be my best friend Kristen in Pittsburgh. I miss her so much. We haven't seen each other in a couple years and when we get to eat dinner together and see one another, we just sit there for hours. Like, we will go from, like, l the lunch hour into the dinner hour and just talk and talk and talk. And we have so much to catch up on and so much to chat about that she would absolutely be number one. So, number two would actually be somebody who's passed away, um, and that would be my grandma. Uh, she passed away in 2015 of Alzheimer's. She had the disease for 17 years and she was just this incredible woman and she was taken from us um, like the disease started to take over her mind 17 years ago so that put me as like a very young teenager and the imprint that she had left on the lives of myself and my sisters um, in just that young like that short frame of time was huge and we um, we miss her desperately and I would just love to sit down with her and just chat and to know all these things about homemaking and about life and about um, things like she just left a legacy and I would love to just sit and, and chat with her about all those things. And number three would be Lara Casey. She is just this amazing, amazing author, um, blogger, like content creator. She's the founder of the Make It Happen movement. She's just amazing and I would love to like sit down and just chat with her and gain some of her wisdom. She's just amazing. Number eight, if you could get back any article of clothing, what would it be? The, um, there's a few, um, but the one that really comes to mind is this navy blue um, t-shirt. It was like a men's vintage style t-shirt that I picked up from like the thrift store long time ago um, and it was soft and it was like so perfect and it had white writing on it and it said bald is beautiful God only created so many perfect heads the rest he covered with hair and I wore that thing constantly um, and I would get that back in a heartbeat I think my, my mother threw it away I'm not happy about that because I'd still be wearing it if it didn't fall apart because really it was like very vintage. Number nine, if you could hire any actor to portray you in a movie, who would that be? So I have been compared to, um, like, my doppelganger to Brittany Murphy. Sadly, she's passed away. So she would be my number one choice, um, but in the meantime, maybe Reese Witherspoon. I'd be happy with that. And number ten, if you could play any instrument, what would you play? Guitar. I would love to play the guitar. I bought a guitar when I was in high school, but I had some really negative words spoken over me about it, and I never learned to play. The sad thing was, is my best friend, her dad was a guitar prodigy, like, incredible, incredible prodigy, like, just amazing, and I could have learned so much from him, and I didn't. Um, because negative words can kill your spirit, and they killed mine, so I would love to play guitar. If you could hear anyone in history give a speech, who would it be? And I think it would maybe be, um, Martin Luther King. I think that's who it would be. Or Abraham Lincoln, I'm not really sure. Either one would be a win. If you could live in any one city for the rest of your life, where would you live? And that would be... Birmingham, Alabama. I love Birmingham. I had the chance to go there several years ago, and when I went, I felt like this was my city. Like, I was meant to be here, and um, I've never been back, but if I could live somewhere because I had such a great experience there, it would be there, or I would move back to Pittsburgh. I forgot. Maybe I'd move back to Pittsburgh instead. That was probably the best place I ever lived the best memories. All my best people besides my family live there. And friends. I have friends that live other places, but yeah, Pittsburgh. 
I'm going to Pittsburgh. That's it. I'm moving there. If you could make any fictional character come to life, who would it be? This is probably a toss-up between Peter Pan and Mary Poppins. I feel like I'm Mary Poppins when it comes to my mothering. I'm kind of strict like her, but also very loving and fun, and I would love to jump into a chalk painting. That would be awesome. And I love Peter Pan. He's a bit of a brat, but that would be fun to meet him and make him real. Yes. When you were a kid, what did you dress up for as ha for, for Halloween? And when I was watching Lydia's video, I had to pause her video because I was laughing so hard. Her answer to this question is so good. And even now, it's making me laugh. It's, it's so good because I share the experience that she is talking about. Um, so growing up, we didn't celebrate Halloween. And I was, I'm okay with that. I'm still okay with that. I'm not scarred because I didn't dress up like a character on Halloween. Um, my mom would even like keep us home from school and that was great. We had lots of fun and pizza parties and um, whatever. And But our church would do a harvest party and it was called the Hallelujah Party rather than going trick-or-treating on devil's night um and so you would dress up as like a bible character and so like you know we at some points would just dress up like you know the typical like towel on the head with the you know band around and you'd be like you know a character from the bible but I think one year my sisters and I dressed up like as mice from Noah's Ark there were a couple years that we did go trick-or-treating and I dressed up as a clown do you sleep with your closet doors open or closed? We don't have a closet in my room. We have like an armoire and closed. Hello? I even close my kids' closets because they have closets and that's just weird. Question number 16. If you could be any cartoon character, who would you be? Ooh, lordy. I want to voice a cartoon. Um, if I could be a cartoon, maybe Wendy from Peter Pan? obsessed with Peter Pan. That movie, I love it. Um, although I, I don't know, I don't really want to be her, but I'd like to fly Tinkerbell. I'd like to be Tinkerbell for a while. That'd be great. It's Tinkerbell. Question number 17. Do you take the shampoos and conditioner bottles from hotels? Sometimes, if it's like a good brand shampoo, maybe I will. Um, 18. Have you stolen a street sign before? Not a street sign, but I have stolen pylons, so the road cone things. Not just the cones, but like the big ones that are like orange and black striped. Yes, I did that. So number 19, do you sleep with your sheets tucked in or out? And I'm an in. I'm an in person. I'm very, very particular when I sleep. I have to have like a blanket on my feet. I call it my foot blanket. Um, I need my bed to be made like perfectly. And my husband is the exact opposite of me. He can sleep with the blankets squirrely and twisted and crazy and the sheets all untucked and it is like, it's a thing. It's a thing. So in, in. Question number 20, would you rather be attacked by a big bear or a swarm of bees? I'm terrified of bears. It's an actual fear for me. Like I would have, before moving to Canada, I had nightmares about being attacked by bears. So bees, bees all the way. And the crazy thing is, is that now I live in an area that we are overrun by bears. Like it's actually like a nuisance bear problem. And I've had numerous experiences with bears and everybody I know has to. Um, so oddly enough, I, I could get attacked by a bear, but they're really more scared of people. So bees. 21. Do you always smile for pictures? Absolutely, because when I try not to smile, I look really weird. So, smile all the way. Number 22. Have you ever peed in the woods? Yes, I have. 23. What size is your bed? It's a queen. I wish it was a king, but it's a queen. 24. What is the best concert you've ever attended? So, this is a two-part answer for me. The absolute best, like, singer-wise, um, Celine Dion. Uh, I, we were 12th row for her show in Vegas, and 
quo the woman can sing. She's incredible. My husband is not a fan, but he took me and even he was like super duper impressed. She is phenomenal. So good. But fun wise, um, it's kind of tied. Um, one is Kelly Clarkson. I was fifth row for her concert. She, like, with Sensi at their conventions, they always have, like, big named artists come in. And so she played for Sensi, and we were fifth row. She is phenomenal in concert. She's so high energy and so stinking good. Like, she's great. Um, so her, and then, believe it or not, I don't even like this band, but Train. I'm not a Train fan. I don't care for Train, their music. There's a couple songs I like. But they were so good in concert, not even just like how they sang because they were amazing, but their energy and their like how they like connected with the crowd. And again, this was for Sensi, but they had like consultants up on stage and they were, I, it was, it was so good. So many good memories for their show. And I'm not a fan. So if you are a fan and you haven't seen them, I'm telling you, you probably ought to. Number 25, what is your song of the week? I um I don't have a song quite yet for the week. I didn't pick one, um, but I love music like crazy. There's one song I'll leave a link down below that I just found um, by Stephanie. I'm not sure how to say her last name from Bethel, and I don't I'm escaping the name of it right now. But it's like you are good. You are good. I can't even. I'll just leave it down below. It's a worship song, and it's, it's, it's good. It's so good. Number 26, when was the last time you wrote a letter to someone? And that was probably my dad last year. I never sent it. 27, how many languages can you speak? I can speak English. Um, I can do a bit of French, German, Spanish, and Italian. Just a few phrases of those languages. 28, do you believe in ghosts? I believe in evil spirits completely. I believe in demonic forces. Um, and so I imagine that, you know, that whole dark spirit world is, you know, that's all encompassed in that. Um, and I believe in the Holy Ghost. So I guess I believe in ghosts. 29, Cheetos or Fritos? It's a tie. Give me both. I will happily take them both. Uh, can you curl your tongue? Question 31, have you ever won a spelling bee? I don't think I've ever won, but I have come in second place in a division bee. 32, owned a record player. No, I have not, but my mom did. She had a huge, amazing collection of records. Like, she had Star Wars albums. She had um, Bruce Springsteen, Born in the USA. She had, like, amazing albums, and it was a good collection. So I listened to them, but I never owned a record player. Question number 33, who would you like to see in concert? <sighs> Rod Stewart. Oh my gosh. Rod Stewart. I love Rod Stewart. I love him so much. And I want to see him so badly. It hurts. It hurts because I fear that he won't be touring again soon um, because he's getting on in years and I'm scared that I'm going to miss my chance. I love him so much. So he came to Toronto in 2014, I think it was. 2014. December 2014. And I was ridiculously pregnant with Colt. I had Colt via um, scheduled C-section January 9th of 2015. I think I got my dates wrong. I don't know. Anyways, Colt was like, I was due with Colt like in three weeks. And um, I would have had to have, I would have flown to his show um, because the weather was just way too unpredictable in Northern Ontario, Canada um, to drive to Toronto. Um, and, but I had planned to go to this show and I had saved my money. I was like working my Scentsy business hard to um, purchased a, I think it was a diamond ticket for his show. It was like a thousand dollars and you got to sit like in the first two rows of the, um, stadium and you got like certain like pictures and you got like t-shirts and you got the chance to meet him backstage and just everything. And I was going to pay it and I was going to pay for my husband to go too, because I wanted 
to go, but I was too pregnant and I couldn't, and I was so sad. And now I fear I have missed him. So hopefully one day I'll get to go see Rod Stewart. Oh, kills me. And question number thirty-four: Can you swim well? Yes. I, like I'm not like a. I wouldn't be like. You wouldn't call me a swimmer. Swimmer like really I can I can stay alive and I have stayed alive because I've almost drowned twice and I no longer go in water because of that but I can save myself if it comes to that question 35 are you patient yes and no sometimes it depends on the situation driving not really only if I'm in a good mode listening to my Christian music or my podcast and I'm feeling like really in tune with the Lord then I'm patient but when I'm not and I'm not always patient with my children, and I'm not always patient with my husband, and I'm not always patient with life. But sometimes I am, because I try and work on that. It's hard. DJ or band at a wedding? Um, I would say DJ because we did like the iPod thing when we got married. We went really cheap. Um, and the guy who was running it and kind of emceeing the night wasn't that great. And it sort of ruined it for us and I would totally change that so I would have a DJ who knew what he was doing could pump up the crowd and it would be hopefully a good party but yeah question 37 ever won a contest yes I guess I've won like things um the two major ones that kind of stand out is that I was um not say the name but I was runner up for fair queen uh Con, the fair queen contest at our local county fair um, and that was amazing and super fun and then I was prom queen that was so cool that was so cool question 38 I, this is not 50 questions I thought this was 50 questions this isn't 50 questions you're in luck do you have kids I have two kids question 39 do you want kids I want more kids I would love to adopt that is my heart and I would love to adopt probably a couple kids Carefully. We'll see. I'm hoping. And I'm going to throw in a question. Question number 40. Have you ever been held up by gunpoint? Yes. Yes, I have. If you ever want to hear that story, let me know and I'll maybe film that for you because it's crazy. So that is the tag. The questions that nobody asks. I hope you enjoyed. Got a little insight into the weirdness that is me. And um, I will leave a couple ladies down below to tag them because this is kind of really super fun. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, I would love to hear your answers to some of these questions. I think it's so fun when um, you can kind of learn these like random things about people. So if you connected with a question or you have a cool experience that you want to share about in the comments below, leave that down there. I would love to hear all about it. And I hope you guys have a really great day. Thank you so much for watching. If you stuck to the end, yay, you rock. And I will talk to you later. Bye. You okay? Yeah. Okay. iPad. Ugh.